Welcome back to What They Won't Tell You, The Quantum Truth with Sherry Anshara. And today we are talking about where are your answers and how to find yourself. So I've already gotten a ton of answers from you, Sherry. So uh, thank you first off, because we were, as we were just talking and during the break here, uh, she is she'll dismantle everything and just tell you the truth. That's why this is called the quantum truth. So how do we go about finding our answers? Well, the answers are all inside you. Now, you know, some of the gurus, G-U-R-U, or the leaders have said the answers. But you know what? First, I'm going to back it up to another question that I know you're going to ask me about where to find yourself, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, so let's just go back to the idea of the Beatles. We'll go back into history. Oh, Beatles? And, yeah. or, or anybody. And so it was, especially in the metaphysical world. I, now, I'm not being judgmental. I mm -hmm. can't help it. It's ridiculous. But the idea is we have to find ourselves. So we have to go to India. It's great. Or you have to go to the Alps. Or you have to go and you have to slush through the jungle. And, and you have to be uncomfortable because you have to find yourself. And I'm going to give you an example. This is not judging anybody. But a group of people that I knew that, you know, were very wealthy and are very wealthy and live in Scottsdale. And years ago, they were all going to go off to their journey. Mm -hmm. And they were going to go there because they knew that there was going to be a sighting of this fabulous person. It happened to be Mary at the time, but it didn't really matter who it is. But their whole family was going to go to this place in Europe so they could all find themselves. Hmm. And so they spent about a hundred thousand dollars. I mean, that's a pretty good investment, don't you think, yeah. to find themselves? Yeah, I mean, yeah. And so they all went there, and then they came back. And one of them called me, and I said, "Well, you know, did that person show up to mm -hmm. so you could find yourself?" And that person said, "No, that you know, angel in the sky or the guru from the what didn't show up." Huh. I, I said, I know because that person heard your family was coming and they're in the Bahamas having margaritas <laughs> <laughs> because they were going to find themselves. And I said, and you all came back still bitching at each other. Right. And what did you find? You found yourselves. Yeah. Oh. oh. So that's funny. By them not being there, they found themselves. Yes. And how did they find so themselves? The they recognized and realized with real eyes mm -hmm. that it that there was no one outside of themselves that was going to give them their answers. Hmm. You have to find your own answers. So how do you find your answers? It's how you ask the questions. Here's what good one. Question. We talked about this before. Question is quest at your ion or cellular level, which is your cellular memory. So these are the questions that we've been taught to ask. Oh, my God, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Why do I do these things? <laughs> Instead of asking yourself you can't change the what of something until you get to the why. And the why is a fork in the road. So you can either continue to fork yourself <laughs> or you can move on a new path. It's like ridiculous. And so you find yourself by your willingness to connect to your cellular memories. And the cellular memories are recorded in your body, like a recording, like we're doing this recording. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But the thing is, when we are in our left computer brain, we go to this thing called interpretation instead of the facts. Mm. So when we interpret something, we are filtering it from the emotionality of why we didn't get it. And instead of looking at it, what is it that we're looking at to get? And so it's always based on that dualistic war inside, good and bad, high and low. You cannot, you can run all over the earth, you can run all over the universe. But until you're willing to discover your own self within you and ask yourself very clear questions, not is what is wrong with me, but why? Can't change the what to get to the why. Why do I continue to do this? What is this behavior about? Because inside you in duality, you've been taught profiles, behaviors, and roles. So right. the profile is you're not good enough, not deserving, victim, 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 victim. And so if you are buying into these programs, how could you know who your authentic self is? Mm. 
You can't. So you can't. And your authentic self is life. Otherwise, why show up? Right. It, it doesn't make any sense. So why keep wasting time after time? Whoops, I did it again. So your authentic self are actually a composite, an aggregate of all your experiences that you can draw upon. So here's an example. If I have done something that I created, because you created everything, mm -hmm. whether you're conscious or not, and something doesn't work out, so instead of beating myself up and say, I got to go find myself, you know, right. let me, I'm going to jump in an airplane or a train yeah. and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to go, you know, go find myself somewhere. <laughs> But you, you ask inside yourself, why am I doing this? What belief system do I have, BS program of duality, mm -hmm. that is preventing me from being myself? Wow. That's, I have to take that in a little bit here. So going a little bit back more into it, uh, how do you find yourself? You have to first be willing to connect. So here's a good example. Just with the idea of pain. Do you know why we have pain? No. Why do we have pain? Because pain is our body's attempt to get our attention. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. That's true because you, you were like, oh, I got a pain in my neck. You got that attention in your neck. Ah, yeah. interesting. And so pain in your neck literally is a pain mm -hmm. in your neck, but your neck has to do with the old seven chakras, or the throat chakra. Mm -hmm. And and actually in the old seven chakra, they say your heart's the most important. Honest to God, it isn't. They lie into you. Mm -hmm. It's your throat. Because oh. if you can't speak your truth from your heart, and so if you look at the idea when something's a pain in the neck to you, which is you, and you're not speaking your truth, we speak true, but what's the truth? Right. It's, it's so simple, but if we make it complicated, then we can't find ourselves. It doesn't matter if we run off to India or Timbuktu or Peru or Machu Picchu or wherever. The only answers you can find are in your body, but it's how you ask the questions. Hmm. Not what's wrong with me, but why am I doing this? What belief system am I preventing myself? Here we go. What belief system am I preventing myself that I believe system in, I BS in, that prevents me from being me? So when we say we talk about answers, how do we know we found the right answer? Because you'll feel it. You'll feel it. Because okay. your body feels it. You get goosebumps or so, chill bumps. Yeah. It, that's just like when we were in that. Yeah. It, we always get that. It's so fun. It was, like, oh, I'm on the right path. And it's, so that's like kind of the confirmation that that is truth. Yes, and it's, so it's your truth. Feeling. It's your your truth, and that's why you get those feelings. So even if your left computer brain is telling you, no, this isn't the right answer, this isn't the right answer, or no, you shouldn't spend this money, or no, you shouldn't have this experience, it, if you feel like you should, you should just go ahead and do it. Is that right? Well, trust your intuition, which right. is your natural and innate ability to discern what is right. correct for you or not. And so what we do is we second guess ourselves mm -hmm. and we buy into other people's labels of who we are. Well, this is really who you are. Those are just experiences of you, whatever that is. Um, it's not who you are. They are just what has been defined as an experience. So when I became a private pilot, I was a private pilot. That that was a label. But that's not all who I am. Right. I, I still had a career. I still had things I was doing. It's about the beingness. It's not what you do. It's about what you be to create the doing that is your authentic self, that's life, that you are yourself. You're not lost. You are yourself. But it's recognizing that you don't have to be a label, defined, definition is defined at your ion cellular level, by someone else's idea of you. Well, that's awesome. So that's uh, all we have time for today. Thank you for joining us for What They Won't Tell You, The Quantum Truth from Sherry and Shara. You can find her at www.sherryandshara.com. Thank you. <laughs>